85. Channel 85. Channel 85. When you order two fried eggs and hash browns, you're benefiting from something called oogamy. Welcome to Scientific Station. I'm Brendan Crawwell. Oogamy is the bio biological condition where in reproduction there's a large non-motile egg and a smaller motile sperm. The sperm moves using uh, its motile abilities to find the egg in a variety of ways to fertilize it. Now this isn't the condition of all organisms and it appeared late in the evolutionary uh, development of life. So researchers don't know what, why oogamy developed um, and how it came about. There are some advantages to oogamy. Having a large, uh, a large egg that's non-motile and then sperm that carry the other half of uh, the genetic code uh, that can can swim and find the egg allow uh, the par organism parent the parent organism to devote more resources to the egg an organism that produces eggs as opposed to sperm tend to produce fewer eggs and provide more nutrients uh, and then and protection once fertilization occurs uh, they they can provide protection by keeping the eggs internal in the body or giving them some sort of protective layer and nutrients uh, if they're left in the environment. So to look at this, uh, researchers looked at some uh, protists or algae uh, that, that are closely related and exhibit these two different forms of reproduction. They looked at volvox, which is a spherical algae, green algae, that is very tiny but exhibits oogamy. It has large non-motile eggs and smaller sperm that can swim. And uh, Chlamydomonas is a related organism to Volvox, yet it, uh, it has isoogamy, uh, uh, and I, pr I pronounce that more carefully to, to show the iso uh, uh, it means that the gametes are similar size. Now they have different mating types. It doesn't mean that all the gametes are the same. They're, there's a plus my, uh, mating type and a minus mating type, and for fertilization to occur, a minus and a plus need to fuse. So the, uh, taking these two organisms and knowing some of the genetics that control the gamete production in the Chlamydomonas, uh, uh, the researchers were able to compare uh, the similar regions of the genetic code in the Volvox and see genetically what happened uh, to allow oogamy to develop in Volvox. And what they found is that uh, as well as having the expected rearrangement of genes within this region that codes for gamete production, uh, the Volvox also incorporated other genes that Pre, prior to the event of including these genes in that locus or that region of the DNA, those genes didn't function in reproduction. Uh, so oogamy developed on, at the genetic level by rearranging uh, and splicing the DNA that had already coded for the gametes and then allowing for extra genes, well, taking the benefit of extra genes being added in and creating a condition that allows the Volvox to devote more energy to their eggs um, that are then fertilized by the smaller motile sperm. For more information, visit scientificstation.com.